Use this defensive strategy to go ahead and confuse your opponent and get more stops on downs. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe button and also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I want to share with you a, a defensive strategy that I've been using for years. Um, it, it's I, it, For me, it's common knowledge. I'm sure that a lot of my longtime subscribers is common knowledge, but I wanted to share this with uh, the Madden community, probably some new players, um, on why they may struggle against other defensive players um, and um, something you can do to go ahead and make your defenses very difficult to read a pre-snap. Now, uh, you can pretty much do this in any defensive set. Uh, so uh, really what I'm going to be looking for is I'm going to be looking for a defense uh, that is going to have maybe a rolling safety that comes down to the line of scrimmage uh, or uh, either like a cover four or cover two type set. I'm going to look at the 43 defense and in particular I'm going to look at the 43 wide nine. Now, one of the uh, popular play that I've used before in the past is the cover two invert. Uh, very effective blitz. Uh, you can get some good uh, B gap pressure. We're going to get that pressure inside the inside the, the tackles and the guards. Uh, and it also has the safeties down in the flats to go and attack those flats. Now, the problem with that defense is that if you are a experienced Madden player that's played a lot online, you'll see a defense like this and you'll be able to not attack it. So, what's critical to use the cover two invert type defense out of the four. 43 wide nine you need to disguise your coverages and keep your opponent guessing and that's one of the one of the things that most elite Madden players do is that they know how to disguise their coverages and actually go ahead and keep their opponent guessing uh, put them in a situation where they make bad reads and throw bad uh, bad balls or, uh, or actually get tackled for, for a loss so I'm going to do this against random CPU plays, shotgun plays. The computer's going to get some balls off, uh, but I want to show you the concept uh, as a whole. All right, so uh, basically with this, this, this defense, I've got the safeties actually slide down, um, and then I'm going to be playing over the middle of the field. Now, I, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and pinch this, this, this line in a little bit and pinch in my linebackers to give my opponent the same type of look. But look how the safeties come down. Now, I want you to notice that, notice that initially. Now I want you to take a look at this figure of play. Look at the look at the look. I've got basically um, nine people down in the box, uh, defensive line, uh, safeties down in the box, and these guys actually fall back into uh, zones like this, uh, where they actually fall back into zones. So this is the read that my opponent's going to look. He's going to have to decide, okay, so where where are going to be the weaknesses in this defense? And he's going to go ahead and choose to go over the middle uh, into the area or uh, drop it down or try to hit the sand. Now, if you take a look at this once again, the same type of a shell that I'm that my opponent's seeing. But now I've got guys falling into different areas. Now I switched into a man coverage, and watch what happens. Now he's probably thinking this guy is going to fall back into a flat type of situation, but he isn't. He's falling back in the coverage, and literally takes that guy away. Uh, he chases over the middle of the field, so that's actually going to that guy's actually bracketed right there. This guy right here uh, actually gets taken on right there. And then my responsibility, uh, because it was my man assignment, is to chase this this uh, guy over here. And then I've got another uh, defender that actually comes in flat. So this is like a flood concept. And actually guys are actually coming in the area right there to go take away some of his reads. And then we've got a deep post route right here that actually gets covered up uh, by the man defender. So once again, I've got to give my opponent the same type of look and shell. But now, the, the defender is actually played differently. So he's still got the same look and shell. But now what happens? This guy actually drops back. This guy actually comes out to uh, the triple team, this guy. I have to use him in the middle of the field. This guy falls back in flat. Look what happens over here. He's playing a corner route right here against this flood concept. So he can play high-low uh, based on this play selection. And uh, basically, I'm going to go ahead and take away that route. So once again, same look, same exact look, same look as before. But you can see right here, now I've got defenders in just different areas of the field, and it's just going to mess up his read. So um, I've got a flat defender that's supposed to come out here to the flat. 
I've got another guy that actually is coming up and matching uh, because I've got a cover four shell. I've got this guy actually going ahead and playing a matching concept. I've got him coming down, and I've got a flat defender right here to go and take away that uh, take away that route right there. So uh, this is a this, but look at look at the shell again. Look at the shell. It's the same look as before, but now I have completely different coverage that I can throw against my opponent to go ahead and mess up his reads. So this is a defensive strategy that um, I have been using for quite a long time. Um, and basically what you can do is you can, you, can, you can use this type of strategy to go ahead and mess up your opponent's reads. I can go into a fire man, show the same type of a look. I've got man coverages. I can go into co uh, cover four, show them the same type of a look. I've got cover three. Show them the same type of a look. I've got a hard flat out there. I've got a, a curl flat. I've got a deep third that's going to go over the middle of the field. And he's seeing the same look over and over and over again. And that's one of the things that top man players do with their with their coverages is that they're going to show their opponent the same type of a look, same type of a shell up front, and they're going to go ahead and throw up different types of coverages. Now, the next level adjustment is manning up, cross manning a guy. So something you could do is uh, perhaps uh, cross man this guy over here. Uh, do this where you can cross man over here and you've got two type, type of cross man type of situations and that's going to throw your opponent off a little bit because he's not going to be used to seeing that. So uh, to my subscribers guys, I hope you appreciate this type of stuff. This is just a way to go ahead and play mind games with your opponent. If you have a base defense that actually can go and shut down the run, uh, which is going to be essentially this this cover uh, this cover nine, a wide cover nine, uh, you're going to get basically nine guys down in the box. It's going to be fairly difficult for, for your opponent to go ahead and stop that. And, you know, you can do a lot of different uh, crazy things to go ahead and mess them up a little bit. So you can do like an inverted cover two right here and make a quick adjustment on it. Uh, but these are different type of strategies that a lot of experienced players, pro players do to go ahead and mess up your reads. And if you ever run into a guy that just, you see one thing and then all of a sudden it's a totally different coverage and then all of a sudden it's a different coverage, he's probably doing these little type of strategies. So you can make these type of adjustments yourself, show your opponent the same type of look, and get more stops in defense. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. I hope you appreciate these tips. If you do like these type of tips, go ahead and smash that like button. I'll be rolling out more offensive and defensive tips to take your game to the next level. Thank you, and until